All right, slowly but surely, we're starting to get kind of an interesting game going here. We've, we've slowly added bits and pieces, and we've now got a game where there's an end. We've got a way to earn a score. Um, I think we need to fix one or two more things before I would consider this a done game, though. The first is that as soon as you miss the bananas once, the game is over, right? In most games, you have some concept of lives, and you can, you know, you can fail multiple times. In Pac-Man, you were allowed to get caught by the ghosts three times before you lost your quarter. Um, in you know, Donkey Kong, and boy, you can tell my age with what my examples are, right? <laughs> In Donkey Kong, you were allowed to uh, get run over by a barrel um, three times before you lost your quarter. And so in Wonky Kong, we want to miss the bananas three times before that happens. And so, in other words, we need to come into this stage right here and say when the, when the bananas hit the ground, we're not ready to stop it yet. We only want to stop it after I've lost my three lives. And so let's set this up. In order to do that, we can pretty much know that we have to have a variable for my lives. So I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to call it lives. Right? Again, it shows up on the screen up here in the corner. And I think that's part of a video game. I always know what my score is, and I know what my lives are. You actually can move these around. So if you want to have your lives in a different corner, um, you know, or if you want to have the score over here in the right-hand corner and the lives and the, whatever you want to do, you can move those little displays around on your board. Uh, let's. I'm going to think places everybody right away. I added in a variable. And so my places everybody for this is that when the game starts, I want to set my lives to three, because I start the game with three lives, right? Three lives, score a zero, perfect. And so what happens? Well, when I hit the ground, I need to take away one of my lives. So I'm going to do the change block. That's different from set. Set is an absolute, right? No matter what the score was, or no matter what the lives were, set it to this. Change is a referential, uh, or a relative, sorry, uh, word that says relative to what I have away. Uh, in this case, change by one would be add a life. Well, I don't want to change by one. I want to change by negative one. I want to take away a life. Okay. And then I also want to know, did the game end? And so I might say now, uh, if lives equals zero... Right? So, oops, if lives equals zero, so I'll pull this out. Only when lives goes to zero do I want to stop all. And so I could put this in here. So let's look at this again, what this says. I'm going to pull it out so it's a little easier to see. If the y position is less than negative 156, in other words, if I hit the ground, change the lives by negative one, and then check to see, did, have I gone to zero lives? If I did, then stop all. And so let's run this, and the bananas are falling, lives is 3, score is 0, I'm going to move out of the way and let them hit the ground, so we lose a life. And, wait a minute, lives is 0 and the game just ended. What just happened? Watch very carefully right now, watch this lives block so you can get a little feel for what's going on. It says lives 3. Notice it went very fast. 210. Why? This is badly formed. And this is again why I do incremental development. It's got to be here somewhere. This is about all I've changed since the last time. This says if it's hit the ground, change lives by negative one. So I go from three to negative or to two. Take away a point, go to two. In fact, let's do this. This will help us see this a little bit. I'm gonna go over here to control. And I'm going to wait one second right here, just so that this works a little bit better. Watch this now. Right? Lives equals three. Bananas are falling. Oops, let me get out of the way. I want the bananas to hit the ground. Bananas hit the ground. I go to two. Wait a second. One. Wait a second. Zero. Wait a minute. What's going on? Right? I changed lives by negative one. I went to two. Is lives zero yet? No, so I don't stop all. So I go back to the top of the game. I say, keep doing this, drop by one. Am I touching the bananas yet? No. Sorry, am I touching the monkey yet? No. So if the Y is less than 100, wait a minute, I'm still on the ground. So I lost another point, another point. 
I'm missing an, an idea of what I need to do here. When the lives hits the ground, I you're right. I need to take away negative one, take away a life. I need to check to see if I'm out of lives. But I really have to go back to the top of the screen, right? I really have to take this idea of you know going to some random spot on at the top of the screen and then starting to fall again. Right? And in fact, I'm going to just leave this exactly as it is. Jump to the top, wait some num uh, one second, and then start falling again. And so let's do that right after we look this. And, and why I went after will make, maybe make some, some sense to you in just a second. But let's leave this for a second. Uh, let me hit this. Lives is three. Move out of the way. Bananas are going to hit the ground and the score is going to go to two. Bananas jump to the top to a random position. They start to fall. But because I was no longer on the ground, this didn't kick in again until they hit a second time. And I go to one. And now we go. And now, when the light, when the bananas hit the ground for the third time, game is over. Okay. You might ask, why did I make a big deal about the fact that this should go after the lives rather than before the lives? It's a small thing, but notice right now that what happened was the banana, the score changed from one to zero, and then I immediately detected that that the lives or zero and the game was over before I bothered resetting it. If I had put it here instead, right? If I'd put it here instead, now what would happen would be I'd say go from one to zero, right? Lives goes to zero. Send the bananas back to the top and wait a second before the game ends. This delays the ending of the game by putting it in that order. So I'm going to put it in this order and we end up with a pretty good ability to catch bananas, catch the score, I'm going to keep talking so you know that I'm still here, I'm catching bananas, but if I get out of the way, the bananas are going to hit the ground, lives are going to go to two, and as you've already seen, eventually the lives will go to zero and the game will be over. We're almost done with this game. I think we need one more improvement in the last increment.